Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Since I didn't see this heading in the direction that EJ took when he dropped the charges against Fiona, I suppose I'll start with our last point. How? How? Trask's argument might have persuaded them to dismiss the accusations and give up, but instead they released Fiona on bond. How about she tried to kill Sarah? Fiona is shown documents by EJ in the questioning room. Although I would really like Fiona to stay longer, how does EJ's sudden caving make sense? She welcomes Sarah in the square while drinking a martini, which I found amusing. She has nothing at all to contribute. However, she might not stay anymore. Nothing is worth it. She is hated by her only family now. Staying would only lead to more conflict and issues when feelings are unrestrained. Fiona, you should also go before they discover anything more damning. But she's free just as Philip comes back to stop Xander from exchanging Titan for Sarah walking again, right? The newlyweds will experience even more stress as a result of this. Since they depend on one another for support, I would think it would strengthen their bond, but Xander has been irritating me lately. Despite Sarah's request that he not sacrifice Titan in order to allow her to walk, he once again railroaded over her personal desires. For her sake, he disregarded her pleas for him to spare Brady's life. Be mature, Xander, and honor your wife's desires, particularly when they include her. Prodigal Son I believe we all anticipated that Philip would be the one to challenge Xander. Philip's desire to have no involvement with Titan following Victor's passing has somewhat changed, although as Jean-Paul Lavoisier clarified, he may not have wanted to manage his father's business, but he also doesn't want to see it fail. To avoid that, he will take every necessary action. He despises Xander, too. The sneers the siblings exchanged with one another as Philip entered at the conclusion of Friday's show made me laugh. Looking straight-faced, Philip is in the Kiriaki's mansion. I'm willing to wager, though, that Philip will regret working with Vivian. Very much. He is being treated like her son, and the mother is far too fixated with him. But I'm so excited to watch Kate's response to the news. Here we are, please, for the Vivian slash Kate face-off. Unexpected Departure the separation between Vivian's biological kid and Gabby makes sense now that we know Brandon Barish is going. To be honest, that was the first thing that came to mind when I found out he was leaving. Yes, that explains why they destroyed Stabby. It was obviously written for his departure, even though it had appeared to be unexpected. Regretfully, I felt that admirers of Stabby, particularly Sherry Jimenez as Gabby in the duet, were re-engaging with them. The attacker, wearing a mask, chokes Stefan. All of this waited for Gabby to return home and get back together, after they eventually got back together after Stefan's resurrection, and then the pair dropped out. After all, why had Stefan been brought back? Why don't we just let Jake and him go? It is not necessary for Stefan and Gabby to remain bound together all the time, to be clear. The way the show presented it, however, their reunion was the main focus. And it's finished now. We will still see Stefan on Monday, even though the conclusion of Friday's show may have raised concerns about his future. It's his last day. And no, I wouldn't be concerned about his death because we already know that Vivian is involved, Lousy Sorrel and Monday's previews indicate that she prevents him from getting back together with Gabby. Although Vivian is a lot of things, including a killer, she will not murder her own son. She would, however, stop him from seeing Gabby again. It's been a good year since I waited for Gabby to convert her into a police officer in retaliation. Inappropriate conduct. My body and soul note for this week was, Chanel, kick Johnny to the curb, not, I hate this so much. From my perspective, they are finished. Johnny's toxic and fragile male ego appeared out of nowhere, so they shouldn't be, but after he said, you cheating slut, that was it for me. How is this couple the same one that recently lost a child? During their fight in the hospital room, Johnny makes helpless motions while Chanel looks distressed. But I really, really liked how Chanel brought up the most crucial point after Johnny's endless but this happened and this happened and this happened, and you can see why I thought you cheated justifications, if he already anticipated she would cheat on him, then all of this just leads to infidelity. 
Furthermore, if he didn't bother to inquire or discuss it. Chanel, nicely done. If nothing else, some significant things are beginning to emerge from the body and soul. But does anyone care to watch? There was no doubt about the level of hatred fans had for the soap inside a soap when we asked them about their feelings. Additionally, it wasn't said how many individuals fast forward through the scenes or skip such episodes. I like the individual performances of Johnny slash Chanel, and even Alex slash Stephanie, writes Joseph Anthony Figueroa in the recap comments on Wednesday. It would be nice if the context wasn't body and soul. To accomplish the same goal, there must be another method. Absolutely. And it, in my opinion, is well highlighted in scenarios like Chanel and Johnny fighting, which could break their marriage, while Leo and Bonnie watch an amusement as they make startled looks. It undermines the drama we should be interested in, but it works for the body and soul gibberish. Unrelated thoughts. Though I'm still getting to know her, I like the enthusiasm that Joy is bringing so far. And I love how they looked back in time and made it apparent that she has a grudge because she was the bonus baby that was conceived in order to save Chloe. I am aware that they are being evasive by asking her and Johnny if they did or did not do something, but I'm ready to wager that he simply passed out in her room after drinking. But nonetheless. Chanel, drop him dot it's amazing how much more setup Rafe and Gobby's cousin Javi receives than many other characters. For him on Monday, we essentially obtained the whole crash course history of the siblings' family on Dad Eduardo's side. Does the hospital just cease operations while body and soul is being shot? The entire hospital has been cleared out for production, and they are filming in what appears to be the most significant and central area. I was really moved by Stephanie's outburst at Seth for believing she was playing Faith after they had met several times. I have made introductions to the same people countless times, but they never remember me. Right now, Stephanie does a pretty good job of focusing on her work until Alex comes along. She might therefore have a flashback to her own intimacy with Alex when Leo begins discussing passion on stage. Spoilers for DOL, Marlena Evans Wary. Fans should anticipate Marlena making a fascinating observation regarding Johnny on Wednesday, October 23rd. It's likely that Marlena may inquire about Johnny's well-being. Johnny has yet to confront Chanel, but he will soon. Will Johnny tell Marlena what he believes he saw? Given her knowledge of Marlena, she will advise Johnny to speak with Chanel. Fans are aware that Alex was sleeping with Stephanie in that hospital bed, and that Chanel did not betray Johnny. According to Wednesday, October 23rd spoilers for Chanel Dupree de Mera's Secret Days of Our Lives, Chanel has no idea what Johnny believes. Chanel suffered a back injury on the day that Johnny believes she cheated. Even if Chanel truly intended to cheat on Johnny, she couldn't have done it.